in 2004, California voters approved $3 billion for embryonic stem cell research. And this month, in an issue of the journal Stem Cells, the Turek Clinic and Stanford University School of Medicine will announce how part of that $3 billion uh, was used to isolate stem cells from male reproductive organs, leading to the possibility of treating all kinds of diseases. Dr. Paul Turek is co-senior author of the study, and he is here this morning to tell us all about it. Nice to have you here. Good morning, Ross. In layman's language, tell us what you've discovered. Well, embryonic stem cells have been used to try to generate tissues and organs for patients. They have some ethical issues, and they have political issues that surround them that we all know about. And it's been hard to get work with those kinds of cells done. This is a type of cell from male reproductive tract organs, the paired organs, that can generate a stem cell with a similar potential, but does not involve the use of embryos, does not involve the uh, uh, political and ethical issues, and is specific for the patient. So how does it differ from adult stem cells? Or it is an adult stem cell, mm -hmm. but it's a very unusual one, because there aren't many adult stem cells that can do everything. And the reason why is because when embryos form into tissues, the first thing they do before they form is allocate or designate cells to become the reproductive cells. And so getting those reproductive cells back to embryos, coaxing them back to an embryo type status is easier than coaxing an adult cell, a typical adult cell. What kind of diseases are we talking about? Cure. Well, as a reproductive health specialist, I would say I'd love to see fertility helped out. I would like to see a nine-year-old leukemic boy getting chemotherapy, preserve his stem cells and, and put them back. But if it truly has embryonic type pluripotent potential, real potential to become every cell type, you're looking at all diseases that embryonic stem cells can treat. We're looking at regenerative medicine, the whole, the whole shebang. But you're also, from what I read, talking about it's, um, they're taken from the male reproductive system, but it's only for men, the, the, the diseases that affect men. I happen to think starting with men is a great place to start. Now, there is, there is an emerging Could data. you do this? I, I, was, yes. I was just thinking, you do the same thing yes. with women, using women's reproductive so, system. So, which is very emerging uh, data now that there probably are similar cells in women. There's a couple of papers that maybe, we're a couple, four years ahead of them, but maybe it's a parallel universe. Maybe we can take the cells like men in women, the same cells, and do the same thing okay. and have two sets of cells for the whole so, population. So when are you going to be able to start using what you know now for men and actually putting it into a service, so to speak? Well, the next couple of years, I mean, this is the fruits of the labor of, of Prop 71 four years ago. This is what it led to. And I think, you know, the next steps are going to be to see what these cells can actually become, realize their potential in the laboratory. So it's so a lot of work. You've got to be excited if the Obama administration really uh, oh, changes the policy on stem cell research. It's huge. I mean, it yeah. will allow, right now, all stem cell scientists come to California, which is good for us, but eventually the whole country yeah. will have stem cell scientists. This is really exciting to it's you, very isn't exciting. It? This is... This is a real breakthrough. This is a breakthrough. And I think a lot of the things are evolutionary. It's a lot of small steps. It's, a, it's like taking, you know, a wild animal and putting it in the lab and trying to grow it. It's a lot of recipes, but... It's been years of work. It doesn't just happen, and it's going to be years till it yeah. becomes, but it's all going the right direction. Yeah, well, congratulations, and uh, keep going. Thank you very uh, much. All right, thank you, doctor.